Hey guys, and welcome to the Leftovers channel. Today, we are not stepping back in time to look at action figures. I've got something, it's a current action figure that's set in the future. It's a time traveling pizza robot from the Grocery Gang toy line, Time Wars. Now, the Grocery Gang have been releasing a couple of different action figures lately. They started off with the Putrid Power action figures, which were basic action figures based off their Grocery Gang um, first toy run. Then they released the Bug Strike action figures. Now, these were action figures based off their Bug Strike Grocery Gang toy line. This is the third wave of Grocery Gang action figures based off Time Wars. Um, these guys certainly stood out to me on the shop shelves and I had to have a couple even though I mostly review retro stuff here. These particular toys really caught my own imagination. I love the, it's a really nostalgic style of packaging. The colors, it's vibrant, it's disgusting, it's oozy. It's gross. It's, it reminds me so much of my favorite Playmates toys as a kid and I've reviewed a bunch of Playmates stuff here on this channel. I thought it was only fair to check out the Grocery Gang toys and just see how cool they were once you got them out of their box. Have a feel for them, have a bit of a play around with them. Talk about what you get, what you don't get and talk about the toy line a bit in general as well. Flipping the box over, we get a bio all about Cyberslot Pizza, what his mission is, what he's set out to do as well as a quick word on his play feature. This guy comes with a flick and launch grot blaster. Down below that, we get to see the toys from the toy line itself. Now I've seen the first three quite often here in Australia on the toy shelves. Putrid Pizza has been out for a while, Gooey Chewy and the Cyber Slop Pizza. I haven't seen any of these other characters on store shelves. I have been asking, but no one else has seen them either. So I'm hoping that they show up eventually. Here at the top of the box, we get a little bit more information about what brings all these different figures together, what Time Wars is all about. And below that, we actually get a link, or not a link, but a prompt to search for the Grocery Gang cartoon. Now, Moose Toys have made a bunch of different cartoons all around the Grocery Gang figures. They've really put a lot of effort into the toy line, and that explains the story. Um, it does explain a lot of the story. So if you're interested in finding out more about these figures and what they're all about, then definitely check out the cartoon. The cartoon is brightly animated, it's colorful. But look, let's not go too much into the story here. These are disgusting food items and now they are fighting through time. <laughs> the, the story kind of just goes that they create this time traveling toilet and bad things happen and they have to find good guys throughout time to help them fight the evil invading robots. This guy is one of the bad guys. You can look at the packaging and see that he's is sitting in like a toilet bowl. There's like the rim around there. There's a little dial on the side. We've got the flushing mechanism back here on the, on the backing card. It is a time traveling toilet. Bottom of the bowl there. <laughs> um, beautiful, fantastic. And if you look at the store shelves at the moment, they've also got these Grocery Gang Time Wars toilets. I kind of had to pick one up. I wanted to check out what the minifigures look like. I'm assuming they come with weapons. You might get a few like robot style figures in here. I might open this one up at the end of the episode. I just kind of wanted to finish this one off with a bang. It's my only Time Wars figure and I really do like the look of the Cyber Slop Pizza. So using the power of movie magic, I've already pre-cut the box so I can just pull out the figure. I really wanted to keep some of the illustrations intact because I thought Moose did a really good job of giving each of these figures their own personal illustration on the front of the packaging. So let's pull out, oh look, we get a, a really good shot there of the backing card for the box. We can see like the full toilet bowl, the, the portal down there below. Pulling out our cyber slot pizza, we get the ever important instructions. Can't get enough instructions. I love following rules. I love looking at instructions. That's um, a bit of sarcasm there. But essentially what we get is a very simple mechanism here. You insert the projectile into the weapon and then you flick it. There's no spring loading. There's nothing technical going on here. It is a very super duper simple weapon that we get for the Cyber Slot Pizza, which is a bit of a shame because the 
The Bug Strike characters had some of my favourite weapons ever. There were some really sort of interesting, unique weapon designs. Um, so it's, it's a little bit unfortunate to see the old flick, flick missile launcher things. So this guy's got a rubber cape on and some a rubber cape and some very flimsy feet that I did not want to break. As far as the looks for the Grocery Gang action figures go, this guy has been one of my favourites. I love the the mechanical the mechanical pizza slice look. He's got that hunched over design with the big robotic arm. He's got plenty of textured details for the for the pizza itself, but also some very harsh details for like the, the robot hands, which are like razors. Even some details there under the cape. As you can see, really simple uh, paint job there. There's nothing really happening inside. You just get like a, goes yeah, straight through. No springs, no, no real feature here. You just put the projectile down into the gun he sticks out the back and you can flick it to make it shoot. One thing I did like about the Cyber Slot Pizza was that he comes with his little companion figure. Well, I guess the story goes that these grocery gang, these mini figures are like the original and then they power up into their action figure cells where they get their special fighting abilities. Um, I do like this. I do love the look of this grocery gang toy line. Um, especially the minifigures here because half of them are squishy and then the robot half is made out of hard plastic. So we get this really interesting texture, this really interesting design. And as far as these mini grocery gang figures go, uh, they do put a lot of paintwork and a lot of detail into these miniature figures. And I'll be checking out a few more of the minifigures once I open up the Time Wars toilet. But let's have a quick look at the figure first. So everyone obviously knows cyborgs are evil. Like just look at him. He's got red eyes, he's hunched over and he's got that green ooze dripping from his mouth. I love the texture details. I love the color combinations that Moose have come up with for these grocery gang action figures. The purple, the yellow and the green really work together and they create this disgusting looking figure. So doing a quick comparison with our cyber slot pizza guy here, along with all the other pizza figures that I've managed to collect. Look, there's been a bunch of different um, pizza figures from Bug Strike, from the original Putrid Power. I'm missing, there was actually two pizza guys released in the Time Wars line. But we can see in the arm and the leg details that there are a lot of similarities on that half of the pizza slice. The foot there is a, little, is a different sculpt. But I love the fact that they took this pizza concept and they they reinvigorated it. They really remade it for this cyber slot pizza guy. He is half machine. He is half machine and I think he makes a really good looking figure. My biggest gripe here with the pizza is that his metal leg is really, um, it's really difficult to pose. It's really difficult to position. He's a really off balance, hard to pose figure. The articulation has always been a little bit like simple, ineffective. They're like swivel ratchet style joints for the arms and legs. Here for our cyber slot pizza, it's very much the same thing. The only difference here really is in that um, right hand shoulder. It's on more of like a ball joint style socket. I guess they couldn't have the regular articulation because of how like thick that shoulder is, but um, I actually prefer it. I prefer the simplicity of it and it's, it feels like it works a lot better. It's a lot less flimsy feeling. Of course, we also get a cape with our cyber slot pizza. Um, but yeah, the articulation, this guy also has some head articulation in the neck there. Again, another ball socket, which I think feels better. It feels a lot more simple and a bit more durable than the ratchets. So yeah, somewhat hard to pose, somewhat loose and flimsy feeling, but a lot of the grocery gang toys, um, they look great, but they're a bit smaller. They're a lot more simple than like your full size action figure, but they're also, a bit cheaper. You get the action figure, you get the weapon, as well as a mini grocery gang figure. I'm not gonna complain about the price point because I do really like what you get for your $11 here in Australia. Normally you'd be paying $15 for a full sized figure and these guys are smaller, but they're also a bit cheaper. And again, I love the design of them. I love the look of them. I love how vibrant they are and how many details are sculpted and molded 
and even painted here on these figures. You don't usually get this level of detail in the figures that I've picked up. All right, guys, to finish things up, to take us out of here, I am going to unwrap and check out the figures that we get in our Time Wars toilet. Like I said, I hope we get a couple more robot figures. My son opened up one the other day and got a little robot pair to go with it. So I know they're out there. I know they exist. It'd be really cool to pick up a couple more robots to go in the team. Okay, so what's the deal here with these things? Um, I'm just gonna quickly open up the plastic. I love the fact that they give you a toilet because obviously the toilet is the main time travel device for the Time Wars characters. So it's kind of cool to think that for kids out there, you can actually use the, the toilet as like a, a play feature, an accessory for your figures. And they wrap these things really well. Um, if you are a youngster, then please get help using scissors and knives because I would hate for anyone to get injured. Actually, there's, there's a pull thing on the back. I think any kid would be smart enough to use the pull thing. Great, another layer of plastic. And cardboard and tape. We get our collector's guide. We will have a look at that once we know what we've got in here. Um, so much packaging. I do really love the Moose Toys packaging. It looks cool, it looks nostalgic to me, but oh man, there is just so much of it. And again, get help when using knives. No, I don't want any injuries. More plastic, wow, so, so much plastic. I feel like I've unwrapped four of these things by now. Uh, we get our toilet, we also get a little funnel, plastic clear funnel piece. This looks like we get a bit of membrane on top. It's telling us to Place the funnel and pour in the water. So, let's make that happen. Placing the funnel piece on top and we can pour the water. What I want to do is quickly pour our water and take the funnel off first. Go ahead and pour the excess water back into a container. And it looks like we've got a little plastic tab down here, which holds another one of these figures in place. Plus the weapons are sitting there at the bottom of the toilet as well. No cool robot figurines. I guess I just picked badly. But we did get this dinosaur looking character. As well as this cool sunglass wearing. Sundial? Looking at the collector chart for our two new grocery gang figures, we have got a Velocicraptor, which comes with like a bone club. He is a common. And then I'm guessing our sundial wearing looks like one of the time wasters. 
The Vile Sun Dial is also a common figure. And yeah, that is my look at the Cyberslot Pizza and a few of the Time Wars figures. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see more Grocery Gang action, then please subscribe. Check out a few of my other reviews. And of course, I've reviewed a bunch of retro stuff on this channel as well. Oh, 